Hi everyone, this is Ants. You see this little project I have over here? This using the default web export template is 75 megabytes. But I'm gonna show you with the simple plugin, I could get it down to 25 megabytes. Yes, 25 megabytes. That's basically one third the original size of 75 megabytes. And this is without using any custom export template. You don't have to compile anything. It's just using a simple plugin that you just turn on and that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so um, before uh, I, I show you how to actually use it, here is the results uh, of the default Godot web build. It's going to be 73 megabytes. Remember 73 megabytes? Because I'm going to prove everything I'm telling you right now. And using the Godot Minimize Web Build add-on, it's going to be reduced to 25.2 with some restrictions. It's, it still works, but it doesn't um, reduce the uh, size of any other uh, web assembly modules, including the dot side web assembly module, which I'll talk about in a second. And I also created my own web template, template where I saved 5 to 7 megabytes. And it went down a little bit, but it's not worth it. Um, so let's get started on how to uh, use it. But before we do, I'm just going to export this. This is just the standard export um, of the project. And we're going to dump it in a directory called HTML temp, right? And it's the release build. And there you go. And in this directory, if you look at the time, it's 8, uh, 908. And if we calculate the total size of this, it's 73 megabytes on the nose, as I said in um, that chart, okay? So I'm gonna delete this now, and now we're gonna use the plugin. And it's a simple plugin. I'm gonna show you where to find it, where to get it, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you go to Asset Libs and you type in minimize, all you need to do is type in minimize. You're gonna get this uh, add-on plugin here and you just download it, I already did, and I, it's disabled, right? And you go to projects, plugins, here it is over here. Enable it, close, save, so that the project is saved, and now, all I need to do is export again. Did I clean up the directory? Yeah, it's cleaned up, yep. So project export, and then click save. And let's go back to the directory there. And we go to properties. It's 25.2 megabytes, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go into this part, but I tried to create my own, I did create my own uh, web um, template, release template, a web assembly module template for the web. And I managed to shave off um, five to seven megabytes. And then after it's compressed, because the, the um, the add-on actually compresses it, it's not even worth creating your own thing, right? So um, <clears throat> so with my uh, own custom template and the plugin, I managed to reduce it by 1.7 megabytes. That's compressed, right? So it's about five to seven megabytes. But the only problem is, is it's difficult to actually create your own web uh, template. In this video, I'm not gonna show you how because there's other videos that do a better job doing that and it takes so long to set up and compile. On my machine, it takes 10 minutes to compile or 10 to 12 minutes. <coughs> and the other thing is for some reason, uh, GD extensions no longer work. There's some sort of mem um, issues, memory issues. I didn't want to fix it. And I came to the conclusion, right? Um, that for smaller pro projects where your PCK file is small, then it's actually worthwhile doing your own custom web uh, templates, especially for 2D games. You don't need 3D, 3D uh, physics and all that, and you'll get a, uh, a smaller size for sure. However, on large projects where, especially 3D projects, where the majority of the compression uh, of your PCK file is gonna greatly reduce everything, then um, you really don't need it. Uh, the other thing is, don't if you're gonna do your own custom templates, um, don't use this tool here. I've 
I wasted many, many, probably a couple hours and tried to, you know, select no, don't select individual nodes. Don't use, the, this is what I wasted time. Don't detect from project. It was disabling modules that I was actually using in the project. I don't know why it's not doing a good job. But anyways, at the end of the day, you don't even have to use your own um, custom template because um, it actually compresses the WebAssembly module anyways and reduces the size uh, anyway. So what's the reduction in size, right? So the actual PCK file, the original is 36 megs and it compresses it to 15 megs. That alone is 15 megabyte uh, reduction. Um, actually, no, I, I said it wrong. It went from 36 to 15 megabytes and it's 20 megabyte reduction. The WebAssembly module, even the, the stock one that comes with Godot, it went from 34 megs to nine megs and that's 24 megabytes. As you can see, it already does a half decent job compressing it. Um, and then it does some other optimizations on the HTML and JavaScript files, but it's, it's just kilobytes. It's not a big deal. Um, and then with my export template, I basically save two megabytes of compressed uh, WebAssembly. That's basically it. Everything else is the same. So the recommendation is just use the plugin. Okay. And that's basically it. Oh, by the way, so we need to make sure this uh, runs on... Um, on itch.io, I already pushed it, right? So I already pushed it recently. So let's go to itch.io, go to my test project, click me. <coughs> All right, and let's change the foliage. Uh, foliage, let's put 50 trees and increase the grass density. And let's remove that. And as you can see, Everything's working. Everything's working fine and fantastic. All right? My grass is moving. And it's a web page. This is a web page. So, what I'm trying to prove here is the plugin works on itch.io. And um, let's go to edit game. Let's see the size 23 megabytes. If you see this, 23 megabytes from 75. The original was 75. I went down to 23 megabytes. By the way, I think this is using my custom template because it should be 25. But again, my custom plan template works too, right? So that's basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing it, but a lot of frustration, especially on the custom templates. If you have the time, do it. But for me, it's like I'm good enough with this web builds. The only limitation on this is it gets a little uh, dicey if you're using GD extensions and you don't get as much benefits because your WebAssembly module will not uh, be compressed uh, and also the GD extension are not going to be compressed either, right? So you're going to lose a little bit of value there. However, if your PCK if is large, like I have some games that is 100 megabyte PCK, you're going to get some tremendous value out of this, okay? So... Um, yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. And um, he, it's an asset lib, minimize, and run on the browser. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.